Hello, fellow dino enthusiasts. Welcome to our dinosaur discovery journey. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating topic, dinosaur classification. Dinosaurs were incredible creatures that lived long ago, but did you know that they come in different groups like a big dino family? Let's explore how scientists sort them out. Think of it like arranging your toy dinosaurs by size, shape, and features. That's what scientists do too, but they use special names to make it easier to talk about them. Now, there are two main groups of dinosaurs, those with lizard-like hips and those with bird-like hips. Imagine if your hips were as long as your legs. That's like the lizard hip dinosaurs, called saurischians. On the other hand, bird hip dinosaurs, called ornithischians, have hips shaped more like ours. Let's break it down further. Saurischians have two branches, the theropods and the sauropods. Theropods are the meat eaters, like the famous T-Rex. They walked on two legs, had sharp teeth, and were some of the fastest dinos. Sauropods, on the other hand, were the gentle giants. These huge dinosaurs had long necks and liked munching on plants, Brachiosaurus is one example. Now let's meet the Ornithischians. These dinos had different shapes and sizes, but what they all had in common was those bird-hipped hips. Some Ornithischians were armored like the Stegosaurus with its spiky plates. Others had horns and frills like the Triceratops. But how do we know all this? Well, it's like being a detective. Scientists find old dinosaur bones buried in the ground and carefully study them. Sometimes they find just a single bone, and other times they find whole skeletons. These fossils help scientists figure out what dinosaurs looked like and how they moved. But that's not all. Fossils also help scientists understand how dinosaurs lived and what they ate, just like looking at your toys can tell you a lot about your favorite games. Once scientists know about these dinos, they give them special names, like the names you have for your toys. These names help everyone talk about the same dinosaur without any confusion. And guess what? Scientists draw family trees for dinosaurs, too, just like drawing your family tree at home. These family trees show how different dinosaurs are related to each other, kind of like how you're related to your cousins. Museums are like treasure troves of dinosaur knowledge. They display real dinosaur bones so everyone can learn about these amazing creatures. So the next time you visit a museum, remember that you're seeing the remains of dinosaurs that lived a long, long time ago. To sum it up, dinosaurs are like a big puzzle, and scientists are putting the pieces together to understand them better. Dinosaur classification helps us talk about these incredible creatures and learn about their lives. It's like making new dino friends. Thanks for joining our dino adventure today. Remember, the world of dinosaurs is full of wonders waiting to be explored. Stay curious, keep learning, and who knows what new dino discoveries await in the future. Until next time, happy dino exploring.